Let me show you some adjustments that you may need to do uh, once you're about done in a section. And once again, when you're done with the whole image. So let me set this back. Right now we only have this piece and it's still another three or four hours away from actually being done. Like I said, this just takes a really long time. So one thing you may want to do once all this is set is to come in with an adjustment layer like a curves. This will allow you to do an overall adjustment, opening things up and closing things when necessary. Oh, whoops. There we go. I'm going to open that up a little bit. Here we go. And it's also useful to maybe come in with a hue saturation adjustment. And again, you'd want to wait until you've done everything else because otherwise you'll have to go in and try to adjust little bits and pieces and it can get overly complicated quickly. You may want to come in with a vibrance adjustment to either increase or decrease saturation depending on what's going on there all right and so yeah those sorts of adjustments and then when you're done with everything the whole thing you'll also want to come back in with those sorts of adjustments uh, once uh, once you're set with all of this you would take a copy of it to be used in your next piece so for, for our next piece for our uh, the piece of the project that you turn in, the piece of the project, the uh, assignment file. There we are. Don't know why that word was escaping me. The assignment file. Um, there we go. Let's go ahead and put this back on. All right. For demonstrative purposes, I'll probably leave this uh, tangerine right here. The next thing I'm going to do is show you a slightly more complicated example and just kind of walk over some of the things that I've done. And then we're going to go over how to do the assignment. Uh, yes, you'll be doing a lot of this uh, colorization, but you actually have to assemble the file as well. All right, I will see you in just a minute.